Step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. And find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences. Find new roads. Chevrolet. Hey, well, hello again, sports fans, and welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Coming to you live from the Pizza Ranch studio, and as always, uh, presented by Central Central Bank of the Ozarks, Doak Propane, Great Southern Bank, Labor's Local 663 in the Bank of Billings. Certainly glad you've tuned in for our Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week segment. We go to Liberty High School, home of the Blue Jays, and uh, head football coach, uh, Chad Freegon. Coach, uh, thanks so much uh, for being part of the show today. You bet. Thanks for having us on. Coach, uh, before we get into our Athlete of the Week segment, just tell us a little bit about uh, the Blue Jays, 2-2 two and two on the season uh, in a very tough district. But uh, tell us a little bit about the season up to this point. Yeah, we we feel like we're getting better each week. And, um, you know, we started off with a big win at least on the West um, week one. And um, then dropped two in a row to two really good football teams. We lost to Liberty North and then a real close game to Ray Peck. We lost 34-31. And then we're able to bounce back with this big game versus Park Hill last week. So we hope we got ourselves moving in the right direction. And, you know, regardless of where our scores have been, just keep getting better each week. Coach, with regards to your four games in, about halfway through the season, you guys are relatively healthy? Yeah, we are. And we went through a stretch where we were missing a couple guys in that uh, two of our top players were out of that Ray Peck game, and they bounced back quick. So we feel like we're kind of back to full strength and hopefully stay that way. And a big night uh, by the gentleman sitting next to you against against Park Hill. I was watching kind of following along at Scoreboard Guy on, on Twitter, and uh, six touchdowns, 265 yards for uh, Anthony Winson. And tell us a little bit about this young man. Well, you know, Anthony's been such a versatile player for us, and over the last few years, he came in as a sophomore and played receiver and uh, played some slot and did a really good job. And then right in the middle of his sophomore year, our starting running back got injured. And um, that was Wintrick Williams, and he was one of the top running backs in the state. And Anthony popped in and did three. We were ranked number one in the state at the time, and we, we, um, he had three games in a row where he had over 100 yards. And uh, we knew right then we had a little something. And last year, went back to receiver. Uh, when Wintrick was a, was a running back as a senior. And um, as a receiver last year, just had an outstanding year. He ended up – he was first team All-State and um, as a returner also and um, just really used his speed and it's made him a more versatile player. And I think that's coming into effect. We use him, you know, catching them all in the backfield a lot, but there night he actually ran it quite a bit and uh, was able to put together some nice runs. And so I think his versatility really helps him. Well, Anthony, uh, thanks for being part of the show. No problem. Thanks for having me. And on behalf of Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks and the Missouri Sports Network, congratulations on being a, uh, named an Athlete of the Week. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Anthony, first, tell us a little bit about your background. Coach You know, talked about coming as a sophomore and getting put in the backfield and then back at wide receiver a year ago. Now you're back in the backfield. What's been the adjustment like, although you've done it once as a sophomore, but coming back into the backfield, what was, what was the adjustment like? Well, I mean, I've been a running back most of my life, I would say. So um, the transition for me was actually from running back to wide receiver um, my sophomore year, and I had to learn that position a little bit more. So uh, coming back to running back actually kind of feels a little bit more comfortable for me. Um, not saying I didn't enjoy my time at wide receiver. Um, I'm going to Air Force to play slot uh, out there and uh, run the ball as well. So. You know, I, I just like playing offense and the whole offensive side of the ball. So any any, any way I can get the hands, my hands on the ball, I'm I'm <laughs> for it. So uh, it's 265 yards, six touchdowns against Park Hill on Friday night. Tell us a little bit about that. Was the uh, was the scheme the scheme work? Obviously, you get great blocking up front. Uh, where do you lay that success? Yeah, I mean, it's really just it comes down to every everybody. I mean, the scheme was. We executed our game plan. I mean, we came out there what we wanted to do. We wanted to run the ball and, you know, keep their offense off the field. They got a high-powered offense over there um, led by Kendrick Bell. And uh, we wanted to keep them off the field, and we did that. And that goes to the O-line and, you know, Coach Frigon here and Coach Brown and all those guys, you know, creating the game plan. And that's, we just executed well. That's all I can say, really. What's a typical week like, uh, you know, just in preparation up – you know, how do you get prepared? Are you watching a lot of film? Are you are you looking at uh, 
just reports and things like that. What does what your week look like uh, uh, going into this week five? I mean, yeah, we, do, we definitely watch a lot of film. Um, we try to, you know, pick up on tendencies from, you know, line, I, I watch the linebackers a lot to see if they're over pursuing, if, if I have a cutback lane or, you know, what's the safety doing? Is he coming up hard? You know, stuff like that. Um, and really, we just work our make sure we're comfortable um, with the plays that we're running that week and, you know, kind of go from there and just in the game, we just kind of feel it out and, you know, try to try to make some big plays. Now, are you guys a no huddle team or are you a huddle up team? Yeah, mostly huddle. Um, we do have a package where we can go no huddle, but we, we mostly are huddle up and, you know. Yeah. So let's say you break the huddle. Uh, you're looking at the defense. What, what are you looking for? Are you looking for maybe where the – I mean, I know as a quarterback, a lot of times you look for that safety. Where is he at in the middle of the field? Is it too deep? As a running back, what, what, do, you, what do you got your eyes on? So I got my eyes on mostly the linebackers and the defensive line. Um, I want to see where the hole's going to hit, um, uh, whether it be power or counter or whatever it is. Um, so I want to see where, where our blockers are going to get up inside, you know, maybe a pulling guard where he's going to kick out. Um, and then also I'm looking at the edge for pressure um, because we run a lot of option. So we try to make sure that they can't bring edge pressure all the time, but sometimes they do bring it. So. If, if that's coming, I'm looking for that to see if I if, if maybe it's a pass protection if I got to go help, um, or if I got to you know get out the backfield quick because there's somebody coming. Um, so yeah, that's I'm looking at the defensive line, mostly the linebackers as well. So again, visiting with Liberty Blue Jays uh, head football coach Chad Freegon and uh, our athlete of the week, sponsored by Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks, Anthony Winson. Um, Anthony, do you have a you don't have to tell me what it is. I don't want any trade secrets. But do you have that? Do you have that favorite play that you maybe you're lobbying on the sideline? Hey, coach, let's go here. Let's. Uh, do, you have, do you have a play that your eyes light up when it's called? I mean, I don't really necessarily have a certain play. I mean, I just like to get the ball in space. So maybe a swing pass or something where I I can make something happen. A uh, sweep maybe. There you go. Um, we, we run the buck sweep. Yeah, and, buck uh, sweep. Yeah, buck he runs it really well. He's patient, hits that lane, and that's been – I was hoping he'd say that play. That's yeah. what I was lobbying for. So, <laughs> um, so he, he runs that play extremely well. Very good. Well, Anthony, you mentioned uh, you're going to the Air Force Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about that process and how that came about. Uh, well, last year I, I kind of reached out to Coach Freon and said that the academies were something that I was kind of looking at. Um I just, I don't know. I, I like the idea of the education aspect of it, but also the military and serving, serving our country. So um, I reached out to him and said that that was something I was interested in. And he contacted a few people and um, we started talking and uh, I eventually got offers from all three of them. Um, and I visited Air Force and Navy were my final two that I kind of narrowed it down to. Um, but when I went out to Colorado Springs, I just really clicked with the coaches out there. And I really felt like that was somewhere where I could be for the next four years. So um, it really just came down to that. And that's where I, that's where I saw myself. So Very nice. I believe we have a young man maybe at Carthage, Missouri, Luke, mm -hmm. Luke Galt, uh, who is headed out there as well. Now, he may be a linebacker, uh, but he is a running back as well. But uh, um, have you had an opportunity to visit with him? Or was he out there recruit on the recruiting trip while you were there? Yeah, he was out there when I was there, and we, we, we talked a lot, and we kind of hung out when we were out there. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to having him as my teammate. He's a great player. So, um, yeah, I'm really I'm – look, I'm looking forward to having him next to me. All right, very good. Well, once again, uh, Anthony, on behalf of Missouri Sports, Sports Network and uh, the Chevy Dears of the Ozarks, congratulations and, uh, and well done. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Coach. We appreciate you getting this set up for us, and uh, hopefully we'll get to uh, visit again into the future. And uh, good luck as you go in here to week five, and you've got uh, Park Hill South at home. Yes, thank so, you. Uh, Thanks for doing this every week for our kids here in Missouri. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, have a great day. Thanks. You, you too. too. Yeah. You're watching the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds. It could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow.